ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಶರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋಮಿ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತಾಂ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೋಫಾರ್ ದ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಫುಲ್ ಡೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲೀಲಾಸ್ ದ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ were described by Swami Alavandar in the previous verse versus the divine beauty of the Lord's Divya Mangala Vigraham the Tirumeni was described before now Alavandar enjoys along with the divine beauty of the Tirumeni the Divya Mangala Vigraham of Prima he also mixes the ananta kalyana gunams of perumal so together with the guna and the rupam is described in this wonderful verse it's it i'm very excited it's a very delectable sweetest verse number 45 achintya divya adbhuta nitya yavana swabhavala avanya maya amrudo dadhim shriyashriyam bhakta janaika jeevitam ಸಮರ್ಥಂ ಆಪತ್ಸಕಮರ್ತಿ ಕಲ್ಪಕಂ ಅಚಿಂತ್ಯ ವಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಿಹೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಕಾಂಪ್ರಿಹೆನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ನಾನ್ ಪರ್ಸೀವಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿವ್ಯ ಅಪ್ರಾಕೃತ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದಿವ್ಯ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಅಚಿಂತ್ಯ ದಿವ್ಯ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಅತಿ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಯಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೌವನ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯೂತ್ಫುಲ್ ಎವರ್ ಯೂತ್ಫುಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಲಾವಣ್ಯಮಯ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ beautiful most majestic and handsome most handsome amrito dadi amrito dadim amrito dadim means the ocean of amritam amritam itself is the sweetest insatiable nectar and amrito dadim means the ocean of nectar shriya shriyam the shriya shriyam means the wealth of shri and he is the shri of shri so he is the wealth of mahalakshmi shri mahalakshmi and bhakta janaika jeevitam he is the jeevan he is the soul of bhaktas and samartam he is the smartest because he is he is sarva sarveshwaran sarvajnan sarvashaktan omniscient full of power shaktiman and apat sakam he is a saka a friend in need is a friend indeed he is a saka who who rushes to us when you are in danger apat saka and arti kalpakam he is like a kalpaka vriksham who grants anything and everything who comes and seeks arms from him so such is you bhavanta meva which is connected to the next verse so all these verses are like one adjective for the next verse bhavanta meva so wonderful emperman that's what is talked about achintya achintya means now we enjoy word by word achintya yato vacho nivartante apra apya manasa saha se upanishad the kalya and where the where the word cannot reach the mind also cannot reach it's not that mind can go much much f- far faster farther but both of them could not comprehend reach the ultimate to describe his kalyana gunas not only his kalyana gunas also of his tirumeni of his divya mangala vigraham of his of his rupam so chintayanto hi nityam ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇಶಾನದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇಶ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇಶಾನಾದಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ನಾಧಿಗಚ್ಛಂತಿ 
తమస్మి శరణం గత మహాభారతం శాంతి పర్వం వచనం టాక్స్ అబౌట్ ద ఫామ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అనే విఆర్ అనేబుల్ టు కాంప్రహెండ్ పరమయోగి వాంగ్మనస పరిచేత్య స్వరూప స్వభావ శ్రీ శ్రీ భాష్యకార ఈ శరణాగతి గద్యం సో త్రూ బాడీ స్పీచ్ త్రూ మైండ్ స్పీచ్ వి కెనాట్ కాంప్రహెండ్ హిస్ స్వరూపం హిస్ స్వభావం అండ్ హిస్ కళ్యాణ గుణాస్ సో దట్ ఈస్ అచింత్య దివ్య he is apragrita tirmeni he is not like us the pragritam the matter he is apragritam natasya pragrita murtihi mamsa medosti sambhava varaha puranam talks about in sri vaikuntam swami embermanar says bashyagarar says divyam in sri vaikuntam the gopuram the prakaram the vigraham everything is divyam there ఎంబెరమానార్ భాష్యకార రైట్స్ ఇన్ శ్రీ వైకుంఠ గద్యం ఫార్టీ టైమ్స్ ఫార్టీ టైమ్స్ వెన్ ఈ డిస్క్రైబ్స్ అబౌట్ వైకుంఠం హీ యూజస్ దివ్య ఫార్టీ టైమ్స్ సో దివ్యం ఈస్ అప్రాగృతం వెన్ ద వెన్ ద వైకుంఠ లోకం ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈస్ సో దివ్యం అబ్వియస్లీ వైకుంఠ పతి శ్రీ వైకుంఠ నాథన్ ఈస్ అండ్ దివ్యం అండ్ అద్భుతం he is apodaikapodi anara amudame sarvata he is the ultimate highest of the highest and he is the fresh just bloomed flower like beauty and so it gives us not only happiness bliss it gives us also aschary what a what a beauty what a kalyana gunam what a freshness how bloomed all that you would you would be i've struck and you will be overawed by his beauty and you would never ever get satisfied with that that's also ultimate nitya this mangala vigraham is nityam eternal nitya alinga swabhava samsiddhi this trimeni is so much ramyam is so beautiful and one cannot ask what's the reason for that we cannot ask it is anadi it is natural shri ragasyamnaya brahmanam talks about that nityam nityam nitya kriti dharam nitya siddhe tadakare sadaika roopa roopaya this nitya trimeni maharshi says there is no there is there is no decaying or old old aging nothing here he is yavanam sada yavanam yuva kumaraha shruti says kumara means kaumaram he is the age around 16 to 18 the teenage and yavanam is beyond that so he is at the he is at the junction of this kumaram and yuva yavanam so around 19 20 to 24 that age and he is in that window of that age eternally ever and that is what he is great about so achintya divya adbhuta nitya yavana swabhava all this is on its own nature naturally own accord amruto dadi amruto dadi is when the milky ocean was churned we got amrutam and this amritam came out of the milky ocean and this trimeni of emberman divya mangala vigraham of emberman is not which came out in a small portion as amritam he himself is the ocean of amritam this amritam which devas got was a prakritam amritam is is not an aprakritam is prakritam means it's a matter and this amrutam amrudo dadi the version of amrutam the version of nectar is is apragrutam is divyam and so that's the difference it is huge it's oceanic as well as it is apragrutam it is transcendental and lavanya maya lavanya maya means alage urvana personification of beauty the whole some beauty the handsome beauty the awesome beauty and 
lavanam means the salt when the salt is mixed in the buttermilk it gets completely dissolved into the buttermilk and it spreads everywhere right from top to bottom similarly the beauty is mixed and completely integrated with the most wonderful divya mangala vigraham of perumal so it's a totality of beauty and lavanasya iva lavanyam mukta paleshu chaya chayayaha this lavanyam is is like a is like a pearl mixture of the wonderful pearls saundaryam the difference between saundaryam and lavanyam lavanyam is that beauty totality where a saundaryam every part when you enjoy that is saundaryam the eyes the nose the forehead the crescent like forehead the black curls the curly tresses which fall on the forehead the the chin the chubby cheeks then the neck the divine large wide strong chest and the the lotus feet all that is saundaryam so the lavanyam and the saundaryam are together acharya explains so nicely oliye neeral urki menmayakapatte kangalukku magilvai seivadai ulla nilayai lavanyam enbar i don't know how to translate this you take the luster and you melt that luster it's kind of liquefied luster and it is slightly crystallized or in a molded into a beautiful form that luster and how blissfully it would be to look at and enjoy and that is lavanya this amrito dadihi is like the ocean when you are standing in front of the ocean it has got no shores on the other side only where you are standing there is a shore other side is completely unbounded and it is so vast deep beautiful dark and it gives you complete blissful feeling even the normal salty ocean imagine the wonderful apragrata tirumeni this ocean of nectar amrito dadihi look at the hugeness of this beautiful divya mangala vigraham how it cools your eyes how it removes your tapam samsara tapam and however many times however longer however deeper you enjoy that beauty you would never ever take your eyes off or feel bored so that is why is amrito dati and any for anyone in any under any circumstances even when you think of him not even see him think of him, contemplate him annikum amudurum en navukke it gives parama bhogya subhashraya shriya shriyam he is the shri of shri hrishchate lakshmi chapatnyau the paratvam purusha suktam says he is the one who is the divine darling nathan of hri and shri hri and lakshmi and for for our kaikaryam that is a niradishaya roopam along with shri shri of pati shri man narayana so dvayatil pol aashrayana velayilum bhoga velayilum vaashiyara oru mithuname uddesham even for upayam as well as for upayam mithunam together the shri of pati along with mahalakshmi shri man narayana is the master for seshi for us that is our sampradayam bhakta janaika jeevitam he is the life breath of bhaktas machittaha madgata pranaha bodayanta parasparam katayantascha maam nityam tushyanti cha ramanti cha bhagavad gita says bhakta jana eva eka jeevitam yasya saha so bhaktas cannot 
sustain they will perish if he if he is taken away from their heart and that is why he they are he is the jeevan for the bhaktas and he krishna himself says these bhaktas these jnanis jnani tvatmayeva me matam so they may say that perumal is the antaryami and he is the soul we are all shariram but krishna says the bhaktas are they are is atma and that is my matam perumal says he is samarthan samarthan he is smart he is shrewd he is sarvajnan sarvashaktan so he gives the bhogam appropriate conducive commensurate with their devotion with their with their um, intense bhakti and he destroys all the ashrita virodhis all the enemies of the bhaktas and he can never ever be challenged or pushed back he if he decides nothing can be done twai rakshate rakshake kimanyehi twai cha rakshate rakshake kimanyehi if he decides to protect you nobody can stop if he decides not to protect you nobody can come to our rescue and that is why paritranaya sadhunam vinachaya sadushkritam dharma samstapanartaya sambhavami yuge yuge i would keep coming to protect the sadhus and to remove the remove the evil enemies apat saka like virka pan tolan if we if we go to him seek his help mitra bhavena sampraptam even if you somebody comes to me pretending to be a friend i will protect says rama so he is abad bandhu apat saka he is arti kalpaka he is like the kalpaka vriksham aishwarya kaivalya moksha rupamana palan a everything he gives based on our karma so they are all artis like a kalpaka vriksham he grants anything and everything that people would ask for karpaga kavana narpala tolhal this four chatur bhujam chaturna purusharthana dhata devas chatur bhuja so he gives dharma artha kama moksham kalpaka vriksha would not grant itself to the others whereas he grants himself to others tanak tannai tanda karpakam alvar says so udhara sarva evaite jnani tvatvai me so udhara krishna says those who come to him begging for his help they are the udharas krishna says because only if they seek his help he can give and he if there is nobody to seek from him how can he give only if there is a son there is a father so in acharya trinakshatram in a subadinam we make lot of prasadams offered to perumal if there are no people to share partake those prasadams which were cooked and offered to perumal if there is nobody to come the tadiya aradhana would go waste so we have to have bhagavatas goshti in the tadiya aradhana so that is why they are udharas those who come to receive are udharas saubari kuchela they all have got so much that they become the benefactors and give to others niramba anubhavita pin selvangale avargale pirarukku koopittu vaari valangum nilaya emperuman yerpaduthuva perumal grants so much to the his bhaktas that they themselves would become vallal benefactors giving to others because of their upakaram paramo upakaram thus the most wonderful verse we we enjoyed and this is the verse we and art which is this verse when others see or think of him they enjoy him they enjoy his form they enjoy his kalyana gunas and such a wonderful sweet verse my most favorite kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha namo narayana adiye